crater like. I know it's kind of cliche, but pictures and video just, just don't do it justice. This lake is huge and it just looks so small on the screen here. But this is it, enough of the smoke is pushed out. You can actually see across the lake. Probably get better as we go along this morning. The wind's starting to kind of pick up and push the smoke out. So I'll take some more pictures when that Maybe happens. On the right. And then one just to the left of the trail. Oh, there goes one. These things are big for grouse. They're almost like chickens. Healthy little guys. Hey, buddies. He's hiking the trail with me. Nope. Well, this is it. Crater Lake is in the rear view mirror. We are approaching Highway 138. This is at the northern boundary of the park. Cascade Summit. Uh, somewhere up here on the other side of the highway is supposed to be a water cache, so we're going to go find some water and tank up, and then we've got a nice little uphill to do this afternoon. We'll catch you then. So it's been so hard to see because of all the smoke, and just can't can't really see too far. Like maybe five miles is is a pretty long distance. Um, but today we've covered some good ground and then um, came up upon Mount Thielson, which I've been taking some pictures, but haven't really gotten a good chance to get, get the mountain in the, in the video till now. So let me switch this around. So that's it, Mount Thielson. I'm continuing to head just sort of around the mountain. I'm just gonna go around it and hang a right, and then there's supposed to be a creek down there fed by a glacier off this mountain. And I'm gonna water up there and probably head to camp. See you soon. Well, it's early morning, day. 5, 4.5, not sure, something like that. And this is the highest point on the Oregon-Washington section of the PCT. Really not much to see here, just a, just a little saddle kind of climbing over a ridge. So, this is the start to the day. Check back I soon. I am at exactly 100 miles from Fish Lake where I started. So I've got about, got about 30 miles, 30 point, or no, 30, 32, 33 miles into Shelter Cove, and gonna hit it. Looks like a little tree down over the trail up there, but <laughs> interesting place to put, uh, to cross the 100 mile mark. I'm like on the side of a hill, kind of going uphill, and, and um, yeah, and it is hot right now. So anyway, going to hit it, headed this way. And uh, I'm going to try to push a 30 tonight with, with the rest of the gang and get to a place called Summit Lake. So shouldn't shouldn't be too much of a problem. I'm just going to take my time and, and uh, just be smart about it and, and uh, get myself there. Late See you soon. Evening, out on the PCT. Doing some extra hiking. I'm going to be getting into a place called Summit Lake. Might be getting there just a little bit after sun, after... Uh, the uh, sundown, but it shouldn't be a problem.
still be twilight. I should be able to see just fine. Anyway, trail's headed up this way. And we got 17 miles into Shelter Cove tomorrow. And that'll be it for me. Well, early morning, day five. Lots of mosquitoes to greet me this morning as I got out of the tent. And you can see why. There's a gigantic mosquito breeding ground next to me, also known as a lake. And man, that water is warm. It is probably warmer than warmer than a lot of heated pools. It just sits in the sun and bakes all day. And <clears throat> I was just talking to a to a uh, car camper, more like well, truck camper. That was next to the next to where we were staying, and yeah, he was saying that it's been just incredibly hot lately. So this water has nowhere to go and just sits here and bakes all day and breeds mosquitoes apparently. So I got my got my repellent on and walking down this road here and. We're all looking forward to the bathroom. There's a bathroom at the end of this road about a mile up, so. Anyway, such is my day so far. I should be, uh, well, getting over one hump today. There's just a big, I think it's like a 1,500 foot uh, climb to get over a mountain or some kind of ridge. And then uh, probably about a 10 mile downhill. And I'll be at Shelter Cove Resort. And I'm sure there's going to be plenty of food awaiting us there. So, going to hit it. Talk to you soon. Okay, well, taking the last few steps into Shelter Cove Resort at Odell Lake. Mm, you can kind of see the water through the trees there. It's a little tough, but it's just a, it's a really big lake, so it's a big blue mass out there. Anyway, it's been a short day. But been a very hard day. Um, it got a lot hotter in the last two to three days. Um, when I started out, it was, I think, probably in the high high 60s. Um, and now I believe they had forecasted uh, high 80s. So, um, which of course it feels a lot hotter than that when you're in the sun. Um, at altitude like this. So anyway, though, it's been uh, been tough on me. I've got a got a uh, couple of muscles that feel like they are just not getting getting hydrated. So good. I've only got about a mile left, and I can get hydrated, and I will be done with this trip. So I will see you at Shelter Cove Resort. Well, this is it. Shelter Cove. Just what I like to see. Big freaking Coca-Cola truck. That's exactly what I need. Well, last time I was here, the restaurant was closed. And I left in the morning before they opened up. So I'm going to put this place to the test right now. Woohoo! Pizza! <laughs> <laughs> Burger and pizza. Oh, you're taking a video? More pizza. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you need payback. That's twice now you've, you've given me well, the middle finger. you time. Uh, well, we've got Pitch and Mustang and Rain Man, and we survived all the way to Shelter Cove. Yay! Yay!